Hi everybody, it's Leslie here and today I wanted to bring you a video on 21 things I learned in 21 years. Number one, everything happens for a reason. Number two, which is a huge one for me, is if somebody wants to be in your life, they will be. If they're not trying to be in your life, they're not worth it. Number three, life is too short to worry about being perfect. I struggle with this one all the time. It's one of those things like in the back of your head where you know life's too short not to be perfect, but it's very hard to act on and I'm definitely getting better at adapting that. Number four, you can do whatever you set your intentions to. If your intentions are to go to the gym all the time, you can go to the gym. If your intentions are to get into that specific school you wanna get into, if you set your intentions, you'll get there eventually. Just set your intentions and everything will work its, work its way out from there. Number five, you don't need to be amazing and a master at everything. This is one that I've definitely struggled with, especially in high school. My junior year in high school, I was in six clubs. I was in girls volleyball. I managed the boys volleyball team. I had a job. It was like, I did so much and I look back now and I'm like, why did I do all of that? Half the stuff I wasn't even really into. And so it's crazy. Like you don't need to be a master at everything. Like nobody can do everything. Number six, this one I have learned recently when I finished the book, uh, The Four Agreements that really hit me is don't assume anything because if you assume it's only gonna hurt you worse and it's really not gonna hurt anybody else. I mean, it could if you act on your assumptions, but a lot of the times it's you getting lost in your own head when realistically you don't need to worry about anything and don't assume anything either. Number seven, fitting in is nice, but at the end of the day, it's really not gonna fulfill your soul. What I take from this is to be unique. Number eight, which was huge for me, you don't need to drink or smoke or do drugs or anything to have fun. And I think it's like misconstrued that to be cool, you have to do those things. And I mean, some people like doing it and it's a hundred percent on you if you do, but personally, like, I don't think it's necessary. Like, obviously, like I love having a drink every now and then now that I'm old enough, but it was never something I was into before. And it's a hundred percent fine. If you don't want to drink or do any of that, don't let people pressure you into doing it because you may or may not regret it later on in life. Number nine, Obviously, if you're being overdramatic or you're not thinking clearly and you reevaluate the situation later and you're like, okay, maybe my actions, like, that's not really how I feel, then that's one thing. But it's not necessary for you to apologize for being who you are. Like, when I was younger, I used to be like, yeah, like, I'm sorry, like, I've worked. Like, I'm a hard worker. Like, I like working and it's just not always, like, I don't always want to go out and spend money and do whatever and I don't need to apologize for that. Number 10, surround yourself with positive people. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to surround myself with a lot of negative people and I was a lot more negative when I was younger and now I surround myself with more positive people and my outlook on life is so much better and my days are better. I don't think that I'm having horrible days all the time. Number 11, if you need a break from a situation, it's okay to take one. There's been many, many times where I have been too overwhelmed or too frustrated or whatever with the situation and I need to remove myself from that situation to reevaluate, relax, and to think clearly again. Number 12, grades do not determine your actual intellect or your worth. Some people test a lot better than others. Some teachers grade based on how they know a person, not necessarily like how well they do in class. And yes, I am more of an outspoken person than a lot of people that I know. If your grades don't 100% show that because you have other things going on in your life, it doesn't determine like who you are as a person and your worth that you have. Number 13, along the same lines, your health is more important than your grades. I learned that a lot last semester. I commuted an hour to my school that I'm currently living at last semester and that definitely took a toll on me. Um, 
my health was not the best because of it because I was commuting and driving all the time earlier this semester I was sick for the first month of the semester and then I got the flu right after my birthday I'm starting to get sick again <laughs> it's just a lot with work the hours I work and with school itself and I've learned sometimes I need to take a break from a situation and if I miss an assignment because I physically like I'm having a mental breakdown or something that it's okay and like I, you can always retake a class you can always change whatever you like your major if you want to you can always transfer schools and take a class somewhere else like it's you can always do something else later on but your mental health right now is important too number 14 if you want to be alone it's okay to be alone i know with our society today it's very very popular to always want to be surrounded by people to always need to be doing something and doing something if you need to take time to be alone and you want to be alone be alone i learned this a lot in the past probably year year and a half mainly since i've been at my four-year school is like living in the dorm and everything i live in a single my friends live in like the buildings around me, but I don't really have any friends in my building, but I like my alone time. Like I really like being alone sometimes and I realize that that's perfectly fine. I, it's okay if I wanna go to the gym alone or if I wanna go to eat alone, like at the dining hall, like it's fine. I don't always need to be with somebody else. <laughs> Number 15, getting a credit card limit of $1,000 when you're 18 years old is not a good idea. You think that you'll only use it for gas and groceries. And let me tell you, that might be true for the first few months, but you won't. You won't. Something will come up. Something will really intrigue you or whatever. Just don't do it. Just don't. Wait till you're out of college. <laughs> Wait till you're done with your student loans. Number 16. Sometimes your mom really does know best. I know straight out of high school, I was anti-community college, anti-state schools, because that's what my mom told me. And now, three years later, I went to community college, graduated, and now I'm at a state school. The same one my mom was like adamant about me going to right out of high school. A lot of the times your mom does know best. <laughs> Number 17, if people leave your life, it's okay. If they were meant to stay, they would've. Number 18, the small things that are happening now won't always matter in five years. So say you fail a test or say, the guy you like doesn't like you back, whatever. In five years, that stuff's not gonna matter. Obviously, making positive habits and everything every single day is a good option, but certain things you're not gonna really look back on in a couple of years and be like, that made or break me. Like, there obviously is gonna be a couple like milestones here and there, but most little things that are happening today are not gonna matter in five, six years. Number 19, don't hold grudges because it'll only make you feel worse. It's not gonna really affect anybody else except you. Number 20, going to the gym seven days a week, working and going to school full time is not always realistic. <laughs> you have to prioritize what's important and dedicate time according to and try not to get distracted. And if you're really serious about all three and you could do that, then great. But it's not always realistic for those expectations. And number 21, your happiness is what is most important. If you aren't happy, change something. I have definitely learned this a lot in the past couple of years that if I'm not happy with a situation, how am I looking at it? What am I contributing to the situation? What can I do to make this better for myself or other people around me? Where if I'm unhappy with, you know, I don't know, like how I'm doing in a class, like I can change that. If I'm not happy with, my hair, I can change that. If I'm not happy with who I'm with, like, I can change that. Your happiness is what matters most. Everybody else aside, obviously you don't wanna go around like hurting people on purpose, but if it's between your happiness and whoever you're with, or your happiness and a friend's happiness, at the end of the day, you have to live with yourself, not with them. I mean, physically you might have to live with them, but that's beside the point. You don't, like you aren't them. So live for you, don't live for somebody else. And if you're unhappy in a situation, 
either end that situation if you can or remove yourself or change something and it'll turn out for the better once you figure that out. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And if you guys have any other suggestions for any other videos, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you and have a great day. Bye everyone.